Welcome back folks, we are making our return to the save, the WCW has been reborn once in this save and unfortunately due to a long hiatus of just PC issues and life and in just general, we are back here, B-Shooter94 here on the B-Shooter94 channel. Uh, we are picking up right where we left off in WCW, February 2002, here at Super Brawl. Uh, thank you to everybody who has reached out and has asked for the series to come back. I apologize, um, but we are back. All right, so that's what's important here. Um, we will, uh, every Sunday now, be having a video going up, so please keep your eyes out for that. Um, going forward for this save, I have decided to dedicate again now that I have a good computer and I can finally fit some time in to do this. We are running it back and going through this again. So every Sunday, look forward to that. Um, obviously, you know, I'll let you know before the next video if for whatever reason that week just doesn't work out and we might do it a different day, but we will stay accountable to that. So hopefully you guys will be here along the journey continuing. So. Enough of the jibber jabber, let's get to the show. So, we are here again at 2000, uh, 2002 Super Brawl. As you can see, we have a hype package to open the show. We're in front of 20, 21,000 people at the Staples Center, uh, hyping up our big matches. So, on the card tonight, uh, we got uh, Chris Canyon versus Lex Luger. We have the WCW United States Championship on the line as Buff with the Stuff Bagwell challenges Rob Van Dam. We have a grudge, max, grudge match, English, six-man tag between Kevin Nash, Scott Hall, and Diamond Dallas Page representing the old regime of WCW versus the Dynasty, who are all second-generation superstars and Double J, Jeff Jarrett, the leader of the Dynasty, BG James, and Dustin Rhodes. If you remember, that was the masked men storyline, and Jeff Jarrett turned on Kevin Nash. We have our WCW Tag Team Championships on the line in the final encounter where the Road Warriors will challenge Shane Douglas and Bam Bam Bigelow and this, no matter the outcome of the match, will be the final time that these two teams will lock horns. We have a grudge match again between Mike Awesome and Guido uh, representing the Militia. We have a six-person scramble, uh, which you'll see in a moment here. Uh, I will not reveal the participants, but uh, the winner of that match will challenge Rhino, our television champion, on the next Nitro. So a little, little tidbit there. Um, and we also have a big match uh, between Bill Goldberg versus the Monster Abyss. And in our main event of the evening, Booker T defends the WCW World Heavyweight Championship against Rey Mysterio. So, without further ado, let's get into the action. First segment got us a 71 with that hype package, so let's kill this show here, guys. Let's go. Our, oh, before we get to our opening contest, as Rick Steiner is coming down the entranceway, Berlin attacks him from behind with the direction of Guido with him, laying out Rick Steiner, which Berlin then, after laying out Rick Steiner, has decided to take his place in that six-person scramble uh, to determine who will face Rhino tomorrow night on Monday Night Nitro. So starting off the show a little different here, but we'd love to see it. Uh, 57 rating here. Good stuff by Berlin, who is going through, uh, is now part of the militia, um, formerly known as Alex Wright. And Rick Steiner gets written off of the match in the pay per view here. Good stuff. 57 rating. And in our opening contest, in a decent matchup, Kaz Hayashi defeats Billy Kidman, Frankie Kazarian, Chavo Guerrero, Berlin, and Tommy Dreamer in 10 minutes when Kaz Hayashi pins Frankie Kazarian with a final cut. Kaz Hayashi carried the match in terms of performance. Berlin drops a 50, Kidman a 52, Kazarian a 53, Chavo a 53, Kaz a 70, and Dreamer a 51. Um, the Frankie and Chavo storyline continued. There haven't been a little grudge thing going on TV. Kaz Hayashi foreshadow a face turn, so Kaz going forward will be turning face soon. Um, the announcing quality lifted the match, and the match got the crowd hotter with a 59 to open the show. Solid stuff out of my uh, mid card here, or lower mid card, I guess you would say. Um, and Kaz gets a much needed pay per view victory and a well deserved one, so he'll be facing Rhino. But the celebration does not last long. 
as after the match, Rhino slides into the ring and gores Kaz, laying him out, holding up the television championship as Rhino has staked his claim and gone after his victim of Kaz Hayashi. Just because Kaz won the match, Rhino makes it very clear that he is not getting that tele off of him. Um, so as you can see, Rhino is a heel. Um, Kaz Hayashi will be going babyface here. Um, little TV uh, little feud here uh, going forward. So looking forward to that. 60 rating, good stuff here on the opening of the card. Uh, we get a backstage promo. We got Nash, Page, and Hall backstage. And they are talking about how tonight they are finally going to come back and reclaim what they should have never lost here in World Championship Wrestling that the punks of Jarrett, Dustin, and BG think they can take what they built here two former members of the NWO Diamond Dallas Page who is the t one of the top baby faces of the 90's this is their company and they are going to hold down the fort against this new regime um, just a basic backstage promo here by the three guys here um, really building up to this grudge match and really kinda hyping up that we're kinda going in a um, showing the new regime between the 90s and the 2000s here of World Championship Wrestling. We get a video recap of the Tag Team Championship Final Encounter match. Um, as you can see, the Road Warriors will be challenging Bam Bam and Shane Douglas. This is the final time this match will be happening. So whoever comes out of this match, there is no rematch, nothing. So moving forward in the Tag Team Division after this matchup. And in a bout that had good heat and decent wrestling, Shane Douglas and Bam Bam Bigelow defeat the Road Warriors in 1253 when Shane Douglas pins Road Warrior and World the Franchiser. Douglas and Bam Bam Bigelow make defense number two of the WCW Tag Team Championships. Hawk of 55, Animal 54, Bam Bam of 53, Shane of 62. Uh, Road Warriors obviously have excellent chemistry, and now St. Quali lifted the match, and the match got the crowd hotter with a 60 rating. Shane and, Dan, uh, Shane and Bam Bam were the right guys to win this match. Um, the contracts of the Road Warriors is up, um, and we will be letting them right off into the sunset into retirement. And we did a great job of having them a nice little final run here um, in World Championship Wrestling that I hopefully you guys enjoyed. They got a little title run, had a good feud with these guys, um, helped Tag Team Division get a little bit stronger. Um, and Shane and Bam Bam, they're going to move forward, um, facing possibly against some new teams. Um, we have a lot of new... Um, teams kind of going on that I've been seeing in WCW that I want to try to give some opportunities to. So we'll be going forward with that and kind of seeing where we uh, piece things together. Uh, we get a backstage promo from Bill Goldberg, which unfortunately did not do very good, but that's okay. Uh, where he talks about that he is impressed by the Monster Abyss, but have no shadow of a doubt, Bill Goldberg is World Championship Wrestling. He is the alpha dog here in World Championship Wrestling, not this Monster Abyss. And there's not a damn thing that he can do about it. Ooh, and about that had great heat and good wrestling. Abyss defeats Bill Goldberg in 13-19 by pinfall with a black hole slam. Bill Goldberg in 81. Abyss a 61. 77 rating. This was perfect. Um, this was the win that I wanted Abyss to really kind of sink his teeth into. Gets the big win on Bill. Um... Just really great stuff here. Developing a new main eventer in Abyss to go forward. Um, and Bill can sacrifice a loss here um, on his kind of build back up to the World Championship. And Abyss is now a big time player now here in World Championship Wrestling. Uh, this feud's not over for sure, but damn, a 77 out of these two. Love to see it. And obviously post-match, Abyss stands over a fallen Goldberg with a 74 rating. Uh, we get a backstage promo from Guido, Berlin, Gonzalez, and Crazy, the Militia, uh, talking about his match with Mike Awesome and stating that even though Berlin failed in his scramble match tonight, he made a statement by taking out Rick Steiner as Rick Steiner has been someone that the Militia are now wanting to target, um, as well as the Militia want the WCW Tag Team Championship because they want all the gold in the Militia, and they are starting that journey tonight. So... We'll see what happens here at the Militia and what they do going forward, but sounds like they're really starting to make some moves here in World Championship Wrestling. 58 rating. And in about the head, good wrestling and decent reaction from the crowd. Mike Awesome defeats Guido in 1321 with an awesome bomb. Mike Awesome a 70, Guido a 73, 73 rating on the board. Uh, this was the final match of their feud. Uh, Mike Awesome is going off to go towards um, a 
bigger feud uh, potentially going forward. I don't want to spoil anything. Same with Guido. Guido has um, some ideas that I have going well for him as well. So both guys, this was a good feud. Gets awesome and Guido featured very nicely and helps them along their way to their next venture with a 73 rating. So good stuff. We get a backstage promo from the United States Champion Rob Van Dam, Mr. 420 himself. Uh, he states that he is Mr. Pay-Per-View and that Buff Bagwell already knows what RVD can do and knows what RVD is capable of and why he is the U.S. Champion. But Rob Van Dam's not an idiot. He knows that Buff Bagwell is not just all talk. He is Buff with the stuff. But tonight, Mr. Pay-Per-View will stay as your WCW United States Champion. 71 rating there. Ooh, so good. Um, and about that great heat and decent wrestling, or good wrestling, Rob Van Dam defeats Buff Bagwell in 13-15 by pinfall with a 5-star frog splash. Rob Van Dam makes defense number 3. Buff Bagwell 55, Rob Van Dam in 87. U.S. title storyline advance. Buff Bagwell and Dummery are a good pairing. Buff Bagwell has a gimmick that's getting stale, so we will adjust that accordingly. 77 rating. This feud is now officially over. Rob Van Dam will go on to face whoever challenges him next. But Buff definitely showed that he belongs in that upper mid card echelon of the champion of the company. Still, um, not really sure exactly where he fits, but we will figure some things out uh, going forward for him. And RVD retains in a great United States Championship match. So love to see it. Booker T cuts a backstage promo saying that Rey Mysterio, he may be the biggest underdog in professional wrestling and he knows that he looks at Booker T as the top dog here in World Championship Wrestling but Rey Mysterio is no different than Sting, Ric Flair, Kevin Nash, Scott Steiner they will all bow to Booker T here in World Championship Wrestling because I am the greatest wrestler in the world and not a damn thing anybody's gonna do about it because I am Booker T, the World Heavyweight Champion, and that is not changing anytime soon. To our next segment. Alright, we got a hype package for the six-man tag. Um, obviously, this is a grudge match built up for months. Um, Nash, Page, and Hall versus Jarrett, BG, and Dustin. In a belt that had great heat and decent wrestling, the Dynasty, Jeff Jarrett, Dustin Rhodes, and BG James defeat Kevin Nash, Page, and Scott Hall. When Jarrett pins Kevin Nash with the stroke, Scott Hall is 65, Page is 60, Nash is 74, BG is 47, Dustin is 65, and Double J is 68. Storyline has ended as this feud is officially over. Everybody's going to move on here and go on to do bigger, better things. 68 rating. I thought this was a great feud. Hopefully everybody else enjoyed it as much as I did writing it. Um, but this feud is officially over as the Dynasty has gotten the victory. 68 rating on board. Uh, we get the feud recap of Chris Canyon on a mission to take out all former um, so-called 90 stars that need to get out of World Championship Wrestling. And he has gone after Lex Luger as his first victim. Um... And we have this big match that's been set up now between the Total Package and Chris Canyon. And it about that had good heat and decent wrestling. Chris Canyon defeats Lex Luger in 10-22 with a flatliner. Lex Luger at 45. Chris Canyon at 66. Storyline has now ended as Chris Canyon has defeated Lex Luger and has said that he is rid of WCW of Lex. Uh, Lex Luger's again very gimmick, doesn't matter. Announcing quality lifted the match. This will most likely be the end of Mr. Lex Luger in World Championship Wrestling, as it is now time to kind of start trimming some fat here in the company. So he is now officially uh, going to be written, or pretty much has been written off with this. Um, and we wish him the best going forward as Chris Canyon gets a big win on the pay per view. We get a world title hype package on how Rey Mysterio got his title shot. Remember he won that big gauntlet match with a lot of great superstars here in World Championship Wrestling. Uh, came out as came in as the underdog, somehow survived to win the match, and uh, Booker T obviously has been a very strong champion uh, since winning the belt at Starcade. so collision course here between Booker and Rey Mysterio. 
in and about that had fantastic heat and great wrestling. Um, Booker T defeats Rey Mysterio Jr. in 18 minutes by pinfall with a scissors kick. Uh, during the match, we had Charmel run and attack Rey Mysterio and cost him the match. Uh, Rey Mysterio had a shot to win the match. However, Booker T's wife, Charmel, made her presence seen and known as she helped Booker T retain the championship as Booker T makes defense number three. Mysterio got us a 83. Booker got a 71. Charmel obviously debuted. So as you see here, her gimmick. Yep, she's a heel. Very good. Love to see it. Uh, she'll be managing Booker T going forward. Big match, 82 rating on the pay-per-view main event. And obviously, uh, post-match, Charmel and Booker T obviously had this plan set up as Booker T has retained his championship over Rey Mysterio. Let's see what we get for that show rating for Super Brawl. We got a 78 rating, increased our popularity in 33 regions. Uh, we have gained popularity in one Canadian region, but growth was restricted. Um, not really sure why that's the case. I'll look into that because that shouldn't be a thing, but we will work on that. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the relaunch here, uh, the return of uh, World Championship Wrestling. Um, to the channel and the return of my channel in general, Beast Shooter 94. Uh, hopefully you did like the video. If you did, please comment. Please tell me what you did you didn't like. Uh, thoughts, concerns, potential feuds, potential things you see with some guys on the shows that you want to see me do more with. Um, definitely open to all opinions and all thoughts. Uh, thank you for commenting and making me want to bring this back and being patient with me and giving me this time to bring it back. Um, and like I said, every week we'll be bringing this back every Sunday. So stay tuned for next Sunday when we bring you Monday Night Nitro, February Week 4.